What's up guys, Johnny here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have something new to show you and that's the Emax RS2306 motors that I just picked up. Um, I put them on a brand new build of mine, a Martian 3 frame, and I'm really eager to check them out. So I've come out here to a local park uh, where I want to basically just fly it, fly the Maiden, see what they fly like. I decided to go with the 2400 kV version of these motors, um, primarily because my other motors that I run are 2600 kV, and I wanted to try something a little more torque, um, a different kV. I figured that'll actually allow me to run a more aggressive prop, which should hopefully make up for the difference in thrust. Um, yet it might also add uh, more caching ability from descends. Um, it might also add a little bit of efficiency, so I'm really eager to see how that works out. Um, so anyway, I haven't made any changes to this build. Um, it's all the stock PIDs, all the stock settings. I have not tuned it yet. Um, I'll take you through the rest of that build another time, but for today I really want to check out these motors. So I also have the um, X210 build with me, so I can run that to compare, you know, what's it like with the 2205, uh, 2600 KV motors from Racer Star versus this motor. Anyway, I can't wait anymore. Let's get this thing out there and let's give it its maiden. All right, here we go. A little bit hard to see with the sun out here, but... Definitely seems a lot less efficient than I'm used to, but uh, seems to fly real smooth. Alright, so that's a real shame. This GoPro has been giving me a lot of trouble lately. Um, somewhere during that flight it cut out. I guess later we'll see how much I got, but if you're seeing the DVR footage, that's why. This thing just... It doesn't really hold the charge lately. You just you charge it up, it discharges overnight. I even charged it for an hour this morning just to try to make sure. Um, but it is not holding a charge. So that's just, ah. So anyways, I'm gonna break out the X210 just to run as a quick comparison. We'll compare that to the two motors. Um, I do not have a GoPro mount on that one anyway. So it's gonna be DVR versus DVR footage. But uh, let's try that. Part. This one does seem like a faster top end, actually. But I'd be better on my own. Sometimes what's right is wrong instead. Cause I was 
Definitely less torque, uh, but more top end. I guess that makes sense with the uh, higher KV motors. So I guess on the preliminary test, what I'd say is that the 2600 kV motors seem to have a little bit more top end, but definitely a lot less torque or punch the low end, uh, which makes sense. That's kind of what they're designed for. Um, the 2600 kV motors seem like they're a little bit more efficient to me, but probably what it is is I fly around it, you know, I fly around it maybe a mid throttle where I'm pulling more amps for the 2400 kV going a little faster than I am with this. I'm going to go ahead and stop myself right there. When I got back and watched the video, I noticed something interesting. It's actually pretty clear to me that the Martian frame with the Emax 2306 motors is actually quite a bit faster in general. In fact, I returned to the same park a couple days later for more testing. This time I had changed out the Cyclone V2 props for some Racecraft 5051 props. I put a GoPro on the Martian and did some tests with a very aggressive setup. When I flew, I again noticed the same decreased efficiency compared to the X210. I also felt like the X210 was going faster, but when I watched the video, it wasn't going faster at all. It was simply running smoother and quieter. It was sort of like that feeling in a sports car where it feels like you're going way slower than you actually are. Yet in an old beater car with much slower speed, it feels way faster just because it's that much less stable. If you watch the side by side punch out here with the DVR footage, you'll notice that after the same amount of time, the Martian was significantly higher and took much longer to fall back down. When I try to do a power loop over this tree, you notice I actually give power for less time with the Martian, yet it winds up significantly further away from the tree. The 2306 applies power so well compared to the 2205 motors on the X210 that I didn't even realize just how fast I was going. Uh, this is all on top of the fact that the Martian was actually carrying a GoPro uh, through all these flights. The X210 was never carrying a GoPro. I put the Martian on a scale to test the relative weight of these frames. The Martian without a GoPro or battery already weighed in at 397 grams. Add in the GoPro and it's at 469 grams. Add a battery and we're at 626 grams all up weight. By comparison, the X210 weighs just 329 grams without a battery and has an all up weight of 468 gram once we add the battery. That's a 140 gram difference in these tests. The Martian weighs almost 29% more. It's no wonder the flight time was less than when I was using the X210. I compared some Emax 2205 2600 kV motors I had to these new 2306 motors. The 2205 motors weighed in at 30.1 grams and the 2306 motors came in at 34.7 grams. 4.6 grams is a bit of extra weight per motor, but 18.4 grams did not account for all the added weight of that frame. I actually wish I had a lighter frame to run these new Emax 2306 motors on to give better comparison results between uh, the two different uh, motors. 
Regardless of all this, the new Emacs 2306 2400KV motors run extremely smooth. They make insane torque compared to the motors I'm used to. In fact, I struggled getting used to not having the same catching ability when I switched back to the 2205 motors. These motors are absolute beasts, and I can't wait to put these puppies to the test in the real world. Be on the lookout for future videos featuring these motors. I think they're going to get a ton of use by me. Anyways guys, I'll leave you right there with some test footage. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Peace!